What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, bringing you another brutally honest video. And as you can tell from the uh, title of this video, I have probably the one that's most requested from the channel. None other than, in fact, I can't. I can't introduce him. It'd be an injustice if I did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let him introduce himself. What's up, guys? Jake from One Hive here with another video. <laughs> Feels good to hear that on the channel, up, man. man. It's been a long time, and I just want to start by saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to sit down with me for a brief moment and just talk about a whole bunch of things. So let's start at the top. You know, there's some people, uh, I, this one interview, I don't really have to go into the usual format and detail as I have with other guests. Um, so I'm just going to touch very briefly, though, because some of the people watching uh, may not actually be as familiar with you as most people are that watch this video. Uh, so let's just start from the top, you know, regionally. Where are you from? I'm from Arkansas. I'm a Southern boy. Yeah, Obviously, that's Southern draw. It's quite, it's, it draws people in. I mean, that's definitely easy. It's, it's <laughs> to soothe on the ears. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just bred in, man. Well, I, I hope you don't. You know, I mean, it, you can definitely tell that you be your, you're being yourself, and I think that's what most people gravitate to. Um, before Clash of Clans, you know, because that's all, the main topic of what we'll be talking about here. Prior to Clash of Clans, what did you play competitively? Um, were you always into mobile games? Were you League of Legends? I believe WoW or Diablo, possibly. Yeah, well, I, I grew up playing, you know, video games. But really, if, if I had to say what was my game growing up, it was EverQuest Two, uh, MMO game. You know that that was around for a lot. Well, it's still around. Uh, I think it came out in like 2003 or 2004, and so I played that for the better wow. part of the decade. And you, play, you played that pretty competitively too? On and off, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A high level rating, uh, especially towards the end of my of my career. Uh, you know, got some worldwide first kills, worldwide, you know, fifth, things like that. Uh, so yeah, it was it was a it was fun, and it was definitely competitive. I, that it was always that. You know, whenever I played something, I I don't know. It was that urge. Well, to, I can to definitely play um, empathize and relate to that, as I'm sure a lot of people listening can as well. Um, this game it sounds pretty addicting, almost as much as this game is as well. Um, in the personal life, outside of Clash, outside of you know uh, the channel One Hive Raids, my understanding uh, from the prior videos that you've done is that you 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 professionally do something in insurance. Is um, so my question is, what do you do professionally? Is that something that you can share or? um generally speak to yeah yeah just insurance and investments basically most of what i do is is uh handle retirees older people's money uh that you know they want it safe it's not like a stockbroker you know i'm buying and selling it's nothing like that it's it's securities that are or not securities it's actually uh safe investments that just you know are pretty boring actually but so oh so like insurance it. towards their their nest egg basically maybe that's where i get that insurance idea from yeah Right on. So um, for those yeah, of you that yeah. want to know more about it, he still has videos, um, his his Coffee in Class series. I recommend everybody go ahead um, and go check that out in his channel, One Hive Raids. And I'll of course, I'm going to link his channel. Not, not that I think I need to, <laughs> but as a formality and just a process, I'll link his channel in the description. I actually have him as one of the recommended channels on, the, on ours, um, but he does talk a little bit more about those types of things in his Coffee in Class series. Um, let's, let's kind of skip more towards the... Um, getting into One Hive, I'm just going to summarize here and the birth of One Hive raids. Uh, you you talk about it at length. You know, I believe there's the history of One Hive video, uh, which I really really enjoyed. Uh, I mm -hmm. personally remember listening to that. But you do talk about in detail about how you got into One Hive, how you were looking around at the war scene, and how that how the One Hive uh, raids channel. Um, <laughs> uh, well, as I have to. Re um, I forgot that I'm over here talking to you and we're not even playing a war log. Cause I don't, I, like I said, I don't do any overlays or any of that stuff. Um, so I, I'm over here oh, talking cool. to you. I'm all flustered <laughs> and I forgot that I need to push, push replays in the back, but that's fine. But, <laughs> but you, you're, <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been going that long. It's okay. They were, they were, <laughs> they well, they were staring actually, at just like the, the prior war of Reddit Omega. You can laugh at that later. Whatever. I'll leave it at is. I don't, I don't edit anything. <laughs> um, anyway, but you talk about the birth of One Hive Raids, the channel, and how that started. Um, what I'm curious about is what does your wife think about the birth of One Hive Raids and things like that? 
Well, it was always like, you know, when, when it first got started, she was like, you're doing what, you know, like you're, you're making videos for what, what are you doing, you know, and I was like, well, I'm just talking, you know, I'm just showing the attacks and things like that. And then as it started growing, it was like, I was like, you know, I got like 100 subscribers. And she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it's like, there's only people in one hive. It's like people outside of one hive are watching my videos. And she's like, that's crazy. And then like, it got to where like, you know, uh, it, I was always like checking in with her. I was like, you know, I got like 500 subscribers. I think I'm going to like, you know, do a special for something that, you know, and then as it went, it was like, you know, I got a thousand and then I got 10,000. I was like, I'm going to do some t-shirts and stuff. So she was always just kind of like, I can't believe it. That's crazy, you know. It just That's went really on interesting. And on and on. I never, I, I can relate because I, you know, I, I see a lot of similarities with us as far as our age. Um, not to mention, you know, um, how our wives view these things that we do for fun. Grow men playing video games. Um, and yeah. my wife made, um, yeah. uh, actually edited the channel art that I just recently put up, and both on. I just. Yeah, I mean, she oh, wow, never nice. played the game before. That's actually one of my next questions. But she's only started recently, kind of like what you said. Like, that's insane. Um, but now she's into it. How did you get your yeah. wife to actually start playing Clash of Clans? Because I have yet to get, I have yet to achieve that. Man, it's tough. And uh, she she withheld out for a long time, like a long time. Obviously, that, that series that I did with her just came t towards the very, very end there. And... Uh, it just sort of, I was like, you know what, won't you download it? Won't you see what you think about it? And then she's like, I don't know. And then I got the idea for like, you know, if we did, we can <laughs> sort of reach out to the group of people that might not have been playing Clash for two years like I had, you know, and, and sort of maybe, not, it's like I told her, I was like, you know, you don't remember what you didn't know. You know, you never, you never remember that. It's such basic knowledge to me at that point. Uh, so that she kind of liked the idea of that, and I, I guess that the series sort of. I liked what, it. What I really did. Out. I heard she's a mean drag loon at Town Hall Eight. <laughs> <laughs> she got okay. She was getting better. She was getting better. But uh, yeah, it was it was fun. I think I think she had fun with it. I, I hope the well. She's did. a stand up was, lady. I've different. had very brief. Uh, what, you know, right when I came into the main is right when uh, you were taking a hiatus and deciding that maybe you want to put the, the game on the shelf. But we, she still stayed active in the chat. So I've had very uh, few conversations with her yeah. in group me. And um, I know I, I'm familiar with what she does professionally. And we kind of work in the same vertical, just different facets of it. So that was that was interesting to find out about her. Mm -hmm. But I have nothing but nice things to say about her uh, because she's a really cool lady. I mean, just she's very, very nice of how she comes off in the stream. I thought you guys um, streaming together was, was very cool. In fact, I, uh, I was knocking at my wife going, see, look, honey, look. She's streaming with him. That was very cool to see. <laughs> well, she likes the social aspect of it. So the streaming part of it was pretty, like, even early on, she sort of would jump in my stream in the chat, you know. And then once she got to know people and talking, they're like, you know, come on, come on the stream, come on the stream. And then once she did, I think she really enjoyed it because it's just the fun of, uh, I don't know, hanging out and talking to people type of thing. It wasn't actually about the game for her. Yeah, uh, but yeah speaking she, of she the game it. and, you know, forming relationships and things like that, can you, can you pinpoint or maybe share – I'm sure there's more than one, but what is what is one of your favorite memories while being in one high? Oh man, uh, well, most of what I when I think back, strangely enough, it's it's most of my favorite memories were when I got to meet people in person. Oh, you know, that's right. The the live events, things like that. It wasn't so much about just an in game experience. It was it was meeting those people, putting a face with the name, and and getting to hang out with them, and you know, drink a beer, and just and just get to know them as a person more so than just you know again that yeah, that yeah name you know I've yet to experience that but what you just said that's what I hear oh man you gotta go you gotta just make it happen I know it's tough I know it's always something going on but when one's close enough to you you just gotta make it well, happen well I will it's, it's I mean because there's times that I do that um, for like festivals I look at it the same thing as a festival you'll drive six hours or four hours for a festival when I just do it for a Clash Live event yeah so I'll definitely next time yeah, yeah, it's 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 worth a four or six hour drive. I'll tell you because I think everybody that I've ever talked to that's been to one is like, man, that was awesome. You know, I had so much fun, and they, and they just remember. I said, yes, what you look back, that's what you remember. It's not that, you know, one more that one attack, whatever. It's stuff like <laughs> well, that. Well, well stated. Um, that's definitely I'll do. I'll start. I'll start bribing the wife right now to see if I can't get her to come with me to the next event. Yeah. And honestly, if she'll come, she'll have fun too. I know she don't think she will hang out with video game nerds, <laughs> oh, but she'll have a good time. She can't hear this, but I'll make her watch this, and I'm sure I'm sure she'll come with. She's really supportive. <laughs> um, so you left, you know, you you, you cool. a while back, um, about six months or so ago, you had made your goodbye to Clash of Clans video, and you it was eight, eight or so, ten minutes ago, mm -hmm. shocked everybody, and you had you you hinted at 
you know, you have your reasons, and I want to be respectful of that. I don't mean to pry, but um, you left stating that it's not the game is not going to be what you want it to be. Can, could you expand a little bit, and has that ever, mm -hmm. has that slightly changed over the past six months? Yeah, I mean, and honestly, it's 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 really sudden for me because again, I, as I mentioned in the video that I did with with Ash, is that I didn't I didn't know a lot about the CWL, what it was. I mean, I would just hear things like uh, at least some of my wife would just say, "Hey, you know, this is going on, or this is that," or someone would hit me on Twitter and say, "Hey, you need to come back because of this, the CWL." But I really didn't even know what it was or how it worked. I knew that there was friendly, That's right, quote, yeah. friendly wars in the game, basically arranged wars that we had been crapping about. But it wasn't enough to to make me, you know, want to check it out. Um, but when I started hearing that, you know, when I was in the finals, and then I started hearing about the the stream and that that Supercell was going to uh, going to sort of promote it or whatever you want to call it, be involved in this event, then that's when I started to get interested because that when I said that it'll never go in the direction that I wanted, that's what I meant. I meant that I thought that Supercell would never put any of their weight behind a legitimate war event. I was convinced of it. And I guess I was wrong. So that has got me interested. It doesn't mean that I'm like full blown back, you know, going to start cranking out videos. That's that's not at all the case right now. Uh, but I'm interested. I want to see it progress. I want to see how this thing uh, develops because it, it's it was good, you know, and I liked it. And I think it's something that I never thought I would see. And now that I'm seeing you know, it, it's, it's, got it's me very well stated that you did there uh, that you did there. And you had um, some segues to a few things that I wanted to transition to. Um, one of them being is that the you know when you came back and you're like hey I'm going to stream and 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 things like that people immediately like oh my god Jake is back you know and I personally did not take it that way I heard you loud and clear mm -hmm. that you know it's it's a it's a pride thing for the clan I mean number one one hives in it so you got to show the love there it's something that you've been asking for and so you wanted to be a yeah. part of that and I feel felt like you were come on man you were not you were owed a, a seat at the table to watch that and um, so speaking about that. Uh, before you came, um, when you came back to One Hive, because you know to, to stream it and also just witness things, what was your mm -hmm. what was your immediate thoughts? I mean, I I know there were still some familiar names there. You know, you got Plow still leading um, and things like that, but you also got some new faces. So, right. what was there any emotions that ran through that you wanted to share? What was your initial thoughts about the clan and about the direction, or was it just like how you left it? Well, it was it was some of both. It was um, it was obviously, like you said, there's a lot of names that I still recognize, and, and especially in leadership positions, those guys have held on and, and really done a great job of, of keeping things together ever since I left. You know, uh, not that I did a lot when I was here, but you know what I mean. Um, and it was it, I was telling my wife it was kind of like yeah, coming yeah. back to high school after a few years that a lot of people knew who <laughs> I was, and I only knew who a few people were. You know. Um, so it felt a little bit like that, but it was great. I mean, I, 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 like you said, I just wanted to enjoy that moment, something that I'd wanted for so long, and then to let it, it, to just watch our guys, guys that I still call my, people. Know, my family, my, my friends, my, yeah. my team. Yeah, my people, exactly. Uh, to take it that far, to take it where they did when a lot of people didn't think they could. Uh, I just wanted to be, like you said, be a part of it, uh, just enjoy it, and you know, not take the spotlight off of off of them and try to put it on me, but just to say, hey, I I, I got to see that, and I watched the whole thing. I mean, I watched, you know, I was checking. My wife's like, dude, you were on that all day because I was checking the war, you know, just constantly, constantly, constantly. <laughs> I was I was into that that war. So uh, well, it was. It um, was and fun. thank you for bringing up Clash with Ash. I almost uh, Clash with Ash. I almost forgot about that. I did watch both of them. I thought you guys did a phenomenal job. I really enjoyed um, just the commentary back and forth, and specifically from a YouTube perspective. I really enjoyed how you guys split it up 15 minutes each piece because we both know it, it like this series it drags on for a while people lose interest after a little bit but I don't care because it's, it's an interview <laughs> but I like how you guys split it up you know and um, <laughs> right. I'm gonna link both of those videos both clash with ash and yours because they're really you guys expand a little bit in more detail about the CWL um, prior to prior to coming back and witnessing the mm -hmm. final of the CWL what did you do for six months <laughs> Besides go to bed at the same time with your wife yeah, on a more like, frequent basis. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a bonus. Um, it was it was weird because like I had all these I have all these interests that I, that I love, you know, hunting and guns and outdoor stuff and things like that. And it was like I was finding it all over again, like all the old YouTube channels I used to watch or the, you know, to websites and stuff. And just getting back into it, seeing what was new. Well, you know, it was like it was like a year of stuff that I had it was so disconnected from. Uh, so doing that, go actually going hunting, just 
sitting on my back porch building a fire, you know, chilling, I, watching football, things like that that I was always so busy that I just missed for a year or two. I just sort of just dove in and just and just soaked it up. So that's that's really it. And then, of course, you know, work and, like you said, going to bed at a normal hour and just getting back in that routine, uh, you know, yeah, from I hear normal you life before Especially class. going, you know, there's still times every now and then that I do go to bed at the same time as my wife. And my wife looks at me like I'm nuts. She's like, "You're you're what? You're you're coming to bed with me?" Yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't have any recording yeah. to do. Yeah, no, yeah, dude, like, like I, I can years, totally I relate to that, man. Yeah, really definitely. can. Um, so when um, how did you pick? So let's transition to what your channel. Part of this is also your channel. You know, you're you, you started making some videos again on, a, on I would say a regular basis, and the content is Dawn of Titans. How did you find that game, and uh, why the decision to start making videos? Not that I'm a hater. Because I actually like them. Um, but how did you pick up Dawn of Titans and why the decision to start making videos about them? I, you know, I, I was thinking about the other day and um, I think it's just a combination of things because about probably, uh, I don't know, three months ago, two or three months ago, I started picking up my iPad and looking at games. You know, I, I literally hadn't even done that. I mean, when I put it down, like I put it down. Um, and I guess that was just that sort of crawling back into me of hey you know it would be i'm a gamer at heart and, and i hadn't played a game in a long time so i was looking around and i found a few games nothing that really grabbed me um and then actually i was on i think i was on uh instagram and uh it was like an advertisement for donna titans and so i saw it and i was like man it looks pretty cool and i started playing it and i just loved it and i just playing it playing it playing it playing it and it's really a good game it's got so much potential but it's like literally brand new yeah, last year right? december late december and yeah, and so, I mean, it's like brand new, so there's so many things that it needs, and it's already, it's not, I don't want to say boring, but it's like, I need that competition, you know what I mean? I need some competition, and it doesn't have it, and uh, I, I'm so, I'm just sort of waiting, and I, I it was a good enough game that I think I, I, I want to put it out there, because I, 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 that's what I've always wanted to do, is put good stuff out there that people can play, like, man, this is fun, and I think a lot of people did enjoy it, and are enjoying it. Uh, yeah, and I've got high hopes for it still for the future. Honestly, I think it, uh, you know, they get they get up some kind of a competitive battle between alliances or whatnot they call it in that game, uh, and it still could be a, a lot well, of fun. Well, I really enjoyed time. those videos. I mean, the game content alone is. It, I agree with you. It's pretty. It's 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 jaw, eye catching. It's popping. It's jaw dropping. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a, the graphics are. are yeah, it looks like a console so game. Far, graphics. So. That's what blew me away. Yeah, yeah, and then I guess that just sort of segued me just sort of getting back into those games just sort of segued into naturally being a content creator for so long that just sort of was like okay i need to i need to do this you know and then it just sort of i think coincidence that right on top of that as it was happening then this whole like i said the cwl me, me sort of discovering what was going on that supercell was behind it the, uh what it actually was and that when i was in the finals it just sort of all came together and then i felt like i should you know i had so much fun with the, with the stream and all that i thought i should do a video well i'm glad you did uh, i really am um, um speaking about speaking about the game and then just a few few, few final questions here um and then i'll let you get back to your nap time <laughs> um all right so it's you came back after a lot of changes have happened i believe the bomb towers are new for you um you know there's been balance mm -hmm. balancing changes i believe two of them uh, the miners are nerfed to the ground. Witches are back. Uh, dragons are back. Pekka's back. Uh, your favorite troop in the game, my understanding. Hogs are actually stronger than ever. Have you had a chance to, to, to explore that? I mean, I know you yeah. and I have spoken a little bit um, in game chat as well as some other people about, you know, what's the best farming and what got the buffs and things like that. But have you had a chance to explore a little bit on it? And, it, and if so... What is your thoughts? Like, what are some positive things about those changes, or what's some things that probably should not have happened? And if you haven't had enough time to explore, I, I understand. Um, no, well, and that's part of my answer. Part, of, I mean, I've, basically all I've done in game as far as playing is farming, uh, which you, you know, like you said, you guys told me, like, hey, Super Queen's pretty much it, which is what I've still been doing. Um, so I've kind of got, you know, back into the flow of that. I have not done literally any war attacks. Not even like from I'm waiting. War attacks, I'm waiting. Nothing like that. But I want your base. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually, <laughs> I've actually watched some replays. I've actually, uh, you know, heard about the about the changes, things like that. And like you said, there's a lot of stuff that has changed. Uh, most of what I've experienced is just quality of life stuff. Uh, the way that the barracks work now, where there's not like going through the barracks and trying to line it up, which was a just suggestion I that I made that. a yeah. long time ago, which I love. The way that works is just a, a huge quality of life update, you know. Uh, so whenever that came, that was brilliant. 
Um, as far as the troops, yeah, I heard about the the hogs no longer taking you know one and a half times damage from the giant bombs, which I like because uh, I think it's a more natural way. Well, I, I guess they buffed some other things and and you know obviously it added the bomb tower, which sort of counteracted that, so they're not OP. But I like that because you know back when I was doing it, it was like if you could yeah. avoid the bombs, it's a three star. You know what I mean? That bombs were everything. Um, so that's that's good. The balloons, I was sort of sad to hear what they did. Simply because balloons, it's such a, they're, you know, you, let's just use three balloons, for example. If you've got three balloons on the defense, the second attack's irrelevant, okay? So it's just one attack and then start traveling again. Uh, and when they front load their attacks like that where there's no wind-up time, that's a big buffer troop like that. It would be different if it was a, a you know, a wizard or a, an archer or when they did with the Valks. It's different because they don't do such massive damage. Uh, but to have those on there, they can pretty much take out any defense aside from maybe a, an X-Bow or an Infernal Tower. Three of them is all you need. In, in most cases, probably two yeah, of them. I, mean, I haven't played you're the game a that. lot since then to, to see. But yeah, so that's a huge, I mean, that's not like a little buff. That's a big buff. And I think that's why everyone's screaming that, you know, it's a lot of air attacks now and balloons are OP. Uh, that's that's pretty crazy. So I'm kind of sad to see that. Probably not the direction I would have chosen it for it. Um, probably not needed. Uh, but I think most of the other things that I've heard about are pretty good. You know, I don't have a lot of a lot of complaints just from coming in hearing. You know, not actually yeah, you, you hit it so on the nail. We were I was literally just talking about this um, at the Town Hall Ten game um, with in in chat over at Prime because uh, I think their intention was to help the ten and eleven game with those loon buff, and it just indirectly made it op at you know pretty much nine sure. now. Um, and I was saying about how I wish they could make. Right ground come back again like you know the base meta changing at town hall 10 i suspect that you're mm -hmm. going to see a little bit more vahos or just va ground base you know it's going to open up some ground based attacks um just because of the meta switch to protect against the loon so much but um it's sure. it's a spring yeah. erases three hogs there's not one trap out there in the game that erases literally erases three loons and that's why they're so freaking op mm -hmm. um one of many reasons yeah. so well, and they got just, I think they've got, did they not have just close to as many hit points as a hog? Yep, plus yep with the splash as well on the way down. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the so last, yeah. last two um, questions I have here is, uh, is really, it's the elephant in the room. You know, uh, it's a lot of people have asked me on stream and then also, you know, commented over the past three, four months when people are like, um, oh look, one hive uh, recaps are being covered again, but it's not Jake; it's just this dude. You know? <laughs> so they, they <laughs> and that's fine with me because they're like, "Oh, you never replaced Jake." And I, you know, I tell people, I'm like, I'm not his replacement. No one's, no one's ever his replacement. I'm just a guy in one hive that already had a channel, and now I'm gonna cover. Now I'm gonna put the replays on. So I want to. Sure. You had yeah. mentioned already how yeah. you felt about potentially coming back and where your feelings are. So I did want to say, because uh, it's not everybody watched the stream, and also I've said this to you in, in private messages, uh, but I wanted to say on the stream, if you do decide to come back and be the One Hive Raids Frontman YouTube channel, I will happily step aside, let you take that take that back, and I'll <laughs> keep doing my own thing uh, with like, kind of like how we how I was in prime doing my own thing when you were already doing one hive raids but I wanted it to be said out loud in the YouTube world that of course I'm going to step aside if 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 Jake makes that decision and it's his to make so I just wanted to say that out loud and get that out of the way man <laughs> I appreciate it, man. And I don't know, you know, that's, I know it's a, like a non-answer, but I, it's the only one I've got because I really don't, um, I know that I don't want to come in and pick up right where I left off. I don't want to do the exact same thing that I was doing, start grinding out, you know, recaps and grinding out uh, ninja lives and things. That, and I know some people would love that. I know some people would say, yeah, that, that's great. Just do it. Just do what you were doing. But I don't, I just don't have the desire to, I don't know why. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what, I guess I'm waiting for that. Uh, if I'm going to do something it, for that idea, that something different, you know, before it came pretty easily to me to figure out things that people weren't doing to feel, you know, like I said, whether it be Ninja Lab or Coffee and Clash, things like that. that and that Death of a Tunnel 10. There were a lot of things you um, did that were iconic for the game. Yeah, things like that that, that no one was doing. It was just sort of, it just sort of came before. And I guess I've got like writer's block. I don't know what you call it. You know, I, I, it's not coming to me. 
how I want the channel to go if I come back. And so I guess I'm sort of waiting just to see if that inspiration comes, if I get an idea that I, that I know that I would enjoy doing and that other people I think would like to see. Um, and that's, that's the best answer I can give right now because I just don't know. I don't know what it's going to be or, or, or well, when you or said, if. Um, I personally want to say thank you. I have learned um, what not to do and, what, and some advice of what to do just by watching your videos. Um, I've heard some of your advice that you left with Clash with Ash about the, you know, Jake Speaks video. Um, you know, I, I've heard your advice and I've done my best <laughs> to try to apply it. So I just wanted to say personally, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and I respect whatever you do. And it's, it's a pleasure to have you back you bet, just man. to hear your voice. And, and, um, and I'm glad that you were a part uh, of the finals of CWO. It's, it's such a pleasure to have you um, be a part of the family again with that moment. Yeah, I wish I wish I had, I guess I got to get a little involved a little bit quicker in that in that tournament because it was fun and I would I would like to have seen the guys go through it. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm really glad I didn't miss the the finals because it was epic and uh, it was, I was just super proud to you know have have one over there and, and just to get to watch it and enjoy it like everybody else. So it All was, right. It was well, awesome. that's that's the that's the, that's the off of the hot seat for you. Um, is there anything that I didn't cover that you wanted right. to share in this in this conversation? Man, not that I can think of it. <laughs> Those of you that know, I did literally just wake him up. I told him take a shot. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I smooth, I smooth forgot. Yeah, he was like, "Dude, you need a shot of coffee or something." But hopefully, I wasn't too, too. No, uh, not at all. Um, and guys. again, thank you so much for taking time out of your day, man. I'll let you go back to your old man rocking chair. <laughs> Get the. But uh, once again, right, it's Brutus it, reminding you: you got to be the be better than the double. And I'm gonna let you do your outro, bro. All right, guys, Jake and Brutus doing our best to help you guys suck less.